Hey guys, it's Joanna here. Do you wish that you can just eat and eat and still remain slim without having to worry about what goes into your mouth? Well, almost all foods contain calories. Some foods are more calorie dense compared to others. Some foods have so few calories they aren't worth counting. We call them free foods. So if you're still learning about portion control, counting calories and changing your eating habits, I think that it is very important to keep a food journal to know what and how much you have eaten. But let's face it, counting every single calorie can be a nightmare and it shouldn't be an obsession. So I want to share with you a list of free foods that you can not eat without going crazy about tracking them. First, leafy greens. You can literally eat as much leafy greens as you want and never gain weight. For instance, one cup of spinach only has 7 calories and it is packed with nutrients. Other examples include arugula, lettuce, romaine, spinach, watercress, kale, collard greens, bok choy and Swiss chard. Darker colour leafy greens tend to be more nutrient-rich compared to the lighter varieties. So stack your plate with lots of leafy greens and consume at least one cup every day. Next, high-volume vegetables. Vegetables which are high in water and fibre can fill you up on very few calories. Examples include all leafy greens, asparagus, broccoli, beetroot, cabbage, carrot, celery, cucumber, zucchini and bell pepper. So you get a larger portion with very few calories. High volume fruits. Generally, all fruits are good for you. But not all fruits are low in calories and they should be consumed in moderation. Free fruits are high in water content and should be included into your diet more frequently. Examples include lime, lemon, orange, grapefruit, tomato, apricot, peach, strawberry, blueberry, watermelon and honeydew. So you can have them as your snack, blend them to make smoothies or even make flavoured water. Next, broth. Broth is the ultimate high-volume food. So one cup of homemade chicken broth only has 18 calories. I like to make soup noodles and toss in lots of vegetables and also lean protein. It is a great low-calorie meal that is very filling. If you want to buy packaged broth, be aware of the sodium content. Go for low-sodium or sodium-free broth and use it in moderation. Next, herbs and spices. This is the secret weapon to pack in the flavours and also nutrients without damaging your waistline. One teaspoon of dried spice typically has about 9 calories and one cup of fresh herbs contains only 4 calories. Do you know that one tablespoon of basil has the same amount of antioxidants as 2 cups of grapes? And one teaspoon of cinnamon has as many antioxidants as half a cup of blueberries. So the next time you cook, spice it up with turmeric, cinnamon, ginger, cloves, paprika and toss in lots of herbs such as sage, oregano, basil, coriander, thyme to pack in all the good stuff. Next, condiments. Choosing the right condiments is crucial to not ruin your weight loss progress. A healthy meal can be ruined by high-fat, high-calorie dips such as mayonnaise or ranch dressing. So the baseline to stick by is to choose condiments which has less than 20 calories per tablespoon. Some healthier examples include wasabi, vinegar, horseradish, tzatziki, mustard, hot sauce or salsa. Again, a lot of store-bought condiments tend to be high in sodium and sugar. So be sure to read the food labels and make smarter choices. Pickles. Despite the different cultures, we have been preserving food for centuries through pickling. Pickles can be part of a healthy diet. It is high in probiotics and also antioxidants, which is also great for our digestion. So generally, pickles are low in fat and calories, but very high in sodium. A dill pickle spear only has 4 calories and 1 gram of fat, but 306 mg of sodium, which is about 13% of the daily recommendation. You don't have to give up pickles, but have them in small amounts just to flavour your food. If possible, choose the low-sodium varieties or even better, 
pickle your own vegetables. So the next category to look at is our drinks. If you're not aware of it, liquid calories can very easily add up to your waistline and also ruin your fitness progress. So I would encourage you to limit high liquid calories because most of the time, they tend to be empty calories with no nutrients. On the other hand, there are free drinks which you can consume on a daily basis, such as water, sparkling water, black coffee, black tea, herbal tea, or homemade flavor water. Finally, treats. If you want to treat yourself and still watch your weight, stay away from high-fat, calorie-dense cakes, pastries, or ice cream. Go for sugar-free jello or even popcorn. So one cup of air-popped popcorn only has 31 calories and can make a very healthy snack. However, if you were to consume the entire bag, you will be consuming almost 200 calories. So remember that portion control is still very important. All these free foods will fill you up on very little calories. And the great thing is you don't have to keep track of every single calorie. Saying that, however, I am not suggesting that you should only be sticking to eating free foods. There are still a lot of healthy calorie-dense food that you should consume in moderation, such as avocado, olive oil, nuts, seeds, oily fish, and also dried fruits. So the key is to find the right balance and enjoy a huge variety of foods. If you like this video, if you enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumb up, share it, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for new weekly videos. Do also check out more video links in my description box for more tips on healthy eating. All the best.